Lots of houses are adding solar panels, and with good reason. Once you've paid for the equipment, you're basically getting free energy anytime the sun is shining. The panels convert the sun's energy into electricity. The more sun the panels get, the more power they'll create. Simple, right? But the roof can be a limiting place. There are obstructions to work around, like chimneys, skylights, and plumbing stacks. There are roof lines that get interrupted by dormers. And if your roof isn't facing exactly where the sun is pointing, you lose a lot of potential electricity production. I found somebody who has a way to make solar production even more efficient without putting a single panel on a roof. Hey Jim, nice to meet you. Hi Ross, how are you? I'm doing good. So you've been in the renewable energy industry a long time. Tell me about your background. Well, for the last 40 years, I've developed a range of renewable energy projects, including biomass, wind energy, and we've done a lot of ground-mounted and rooftop solar projects as well. Well, I've seen a lot of solar, but this one's unique. Tell me about it. This system was actually inspired by a sunflower. A sunflower in the morning opens its petals, points it to the sun, and follows the sun all day long. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Well, this actually has a dual access tracking system in there, and that's biomimicry. We're inspired by nature. Gotcha. So what it does is it actually has motors that moves the panels and follows the sun all day long, and the second motor adjusts it so that the panels are at the optimal 90 degree angle to the sun. Right, so your system's tracking the sun from east to west, but also up and down as the sun's path changes through the seasons. And the advantage of that, I'm sure, is that you can get maximum power production out of your system. That's right, and in fact, this system produces 40% more energy than a fixed array solar panel. Wow, that's, that's impressive. Can I see one installed? Absolutely. This homeowner has had this system installed by the barn for about a year, and we're installing a new one by the house. Okay, let's go check it out. So Ross, as you can see, we've dug this trench. The house is over there with the electric service panel. Okay. And the system will be located right over here. Got it. All right, I can see the three conduits that terminate from the trench. Like with yep. any solar installation, we've got our 240 volt hot leads, the red and the black. We've got our neutral and we've got our ground. I like that. This conduit carries a Cat5 communications cable for data acquisition and remote monitoring of the system. There's a third the, conduit? The third conduit is a spare conduit. The homeowner is putting in a future installation. Got it. What you're looking at here are three earth screws already penetrated into the ground. This fourth helical earth screw will be drilled into the ground and this will be the foundation of the system, eliminating the need for a concrete pad. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. You can see it's getting a little tougher at the bottom, so obviously we're getting down below the topsoil. Yep. Now we're ready to install the system on its foundation. So this flatbed truck is delivering the system. It comes fully assembled inside that crate. We'll use the crane to lift the unit up and place it on the ground. And then the loader will move it to the installation site. So now Manny is feeding the wires from the conduit into the control cabinet and making the final connections. So Manny's programmed in the time, the date, the longitude and latitude, mm -hmm. so the panels know where the sun is and they can follow it. Now he's powering on the system and you can see the panels opening up and moving across the sky. Look at that. Wow, pretty cool. Jim, it is great to see both systems up and running. When we got it this morning, the first system that was installed was facing east, you know, to this direction. Now it's facing almost 180 degrees, the opposite direction toward the barn. That's what dual access solar energy tracking is all about. Following the sun from sunup to sundown to create maximum renewable energy production. One of the questions I do have to ask is, what does it cost? The system fully installed 
ranges around $30,000, but it depends on site-specific installation criteria. Okay, and it's rated at? It's rated at two and a half kilowatt hours, but because of the intelligent features, the dual access tracking, the fact that it cleans itself, and the natural cooling ventilation, it's equivalent to a five kilowatt rooftop system. So it's pretty much at market rate. It is, and it also qualifies for a 30% federal investment tax credit, and many states around the country have state incentives for solar energy as well. And not to mention the local incentives, too. Absolutely. But this is grid-tied, right? It is grid-tied, so that means that if the homeowner is producing more electricity than he consumes, that additional energy will go off to the grid, providing a credit for the homeowner. Right, and there are other options as well. There are other options. We have energy storage through a battery that's built right into the base of the system. So that same unit you saw would come in plug and play, allowing the homeowner to have battery storage. So that's great for off-grid applications or where you can't connect to the grid? Correct. Well, Jim, thank you very much for the tour. It's great to see the evolution of solar technology continuing to advance. So Ross, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. I got to hand it to you, Ross. You're bringing some good <laughs> ideas. And that thing is cool looking. Although I'm thinking for my house, if I'm going to put solar, I'm probably still just going to put it on the roof, right? I mean, yeah. this is pretty cutting edge. I'm still all for solar on the roof. There's no doubt. If you get the right roof for it, that's where solar should go. Right. But if you don't have the right roof for it, this gives you another avenue. Right. right? The fact that you can get more energy per square foot yeah. out of that system because it's dual axis tracking versus a fixed mount, there's something to be said about that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's working like a much larger fixed system, right? It's sort of sure. punching above its weight class, which is great. That's right. That's right. Although, again, you know, maybe I love the look, but if I put it in my little backyard, my neighbors might not like the look either. Is it really yeah. residential friendly? Yeah. So, I mean, it might fit in a residential setting, you know, in a small backyard, but might not. And so, but I think the bigger market opportunity is gonna be in commercial. Mm. So college campuses, office parks, uh, walking paths, right. things like that, I think that's the bigger opportunity for them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, it also makes you think differently. So thanks for bringing it to us. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.